Okay, so now from this video onwards, we will start adding the sound effects to our game. So as you can see, these are some of the audio files which I will provide the link to download it. So make sure that you download these audios and you can use your own audios if you want. Okay, so let us simply drag and drop this inside the assets. Okay, there are the audios. We have some machine gun audios. Let's play one of it as you can see. This is the reloading audio, and then this is the ammo out, and then these are the footsteps. So let's go ahead and add all of them one by one. First of all, let's start it from the player to the to this player we will add the fourth step if we open up the animations actually okay so as you can see these animations are added to our player and player AIs so let's start the animation from this aiming run okay so double click on this animation and actually it is already opened as you can see right here in the animations we will add the events okay so whenever the foot hits the ground we will add an event okay so now basically if we move this like this okay so right there the foot the first uh, foot hits the ground so right here from this add event button we will add an event and let's name this event for example step okay you can name this first step if you want click apply so we have added the first step now right there we have the second step okay so let's add an event let's name this event as step as well and guys make sure that you name this the same okay all of these events so there was the first step now it is okay okay we just only have to add two events on this animation now let's select the aim walking animation okay this one so right there the first footstep hits so let's add an animation let's name this as step okay click apply after this whoops so there was the first step now there is the second so let's add an event name this as step as well click apply after this we have walk back box it no we don't want that Let's check the dead animation. We don't have to add any animation right there. Now, this is the idle. Here is the jump. Let's add the events to this jump. So, let's add an event there by the name of step and then one right there. That's it. After the jump, we have this run, so let's add an event right there, and then right there. So, add event step. After this, we have the sit idle, sit walk, and just the walk, so let's add an event right there, and then right there. So add event step, click on apply and that's it. So now the events are added and as I told you, we have used these animation for our player and our player AIs. So in this video, we will add the sound effects to both of them. Okay. So let's click on this player and to this player, we will have to add a footstep script. So first of all, let's create a C-sharp script by the name of footsteps. 
let's press enter and now let's open the script okay let's remove this function and right here let's first of all create a reference to our audio source okay and name this as audio source as well after this let's create a header by the name of footsteps sources and in here we will be needing a reference to our audio clips okay so let's say public audio clip let's make this an array and let's name this as footsteps sound okay after this we will create a function in which we will say that as you know that this audio clip is an array so we can add two footstep sound or three footstep sound okay so in this in that function we will say that whatever sounds are added to that array we want to select different footstep sound from that okay from this footstep sound array okay so let's create a private audio clip type function and let's name this as get random foot step and in here we will return the footstep sounds so let's say random dot range and for the first one we will say zero and then for the second one we will say footstep sound dot length okay that's it so now this function will select random footstep sound if we have added more than two okay and then after this we want to play that sound so for that we will create a function by the name of step and in here we will simply say audio clip and then clip will be equals to the get random for step okay and then we will say audio source dot play one short and guys as you know that we have uh, named the event as step so make sure that you name this function as step as well okay or else it will give you an error so audio clip dot play one short clip and clip is equals to this can uh, get random for step in which we get a random foot step from this array audio clip array okay we will add a footstep sound to this array so don't worry about that and i just want to tell you that make sure that you name this as step as well then because if we see our animations as you know we have named this event as step okay so this will be also named as step so now let's just save this get back to unity and click on player let's add the footstep script right there move it up and now we can't see our audio source so actually let's make this public okay there it is let's add a audio source first of all to the player main game object and now make this uh, 3d okay the blend 3d and let's make the volume a little bit lower okay so that it doesn't blast the loud sounds okay so drag and drop the audio source right there then click on this and then we will add one first step sound because if we check our audios we have just one foot step actually you can make this two if you want and then just drag and drop this twice okay right there so now it will select 
between these two footstep sounds okay that's it now if you play the game you will notice the sounds as you can see and now it is showing an error on the player AI because we didn't add it the script right there but don't worry we will add it but now as you can see for the player the footstep sound works perfectly fine as you can see it works on running and then on walking and then on jump as you can see and then aim walk as well okay it plays the sound effect I recall it. so now let's select our player AI Okay, we have this player AI right here so let's give them the footstep sound in the next video because now we have the script ready so let's complete that in the next video